Hey y'all, I am back with another video and I just want to apologize in advance for my dog chewing on something in the background. He follows me everywhere so I can't really get away from him. <laughs> but um, this video is going to be um, an integer program um, with piecewise linear functions. This is a very difficult problem um, but I'm going to try my best to explain this the right way so that you understand it. Um, so, again, in my last video, the fixed charge video, I had a textbook problem, and this is also using a textbook problem with a solution. So that's nice. Um, so I'm going to try to summarize everything so you don't have to read through, but feel free to pause the video whenever. Um, so basically in this problem, there um, is a gas company, and they're producing two types of gasoline from two types of oil. Um, gas 1 must contain at least 50% of oil 1. Um, and each gallon of gas 2 must contain at least 60% of oil 1. Um, and then there is a price for each type of gas, so 12 cents for gas 1, 14 cents for gas 2. We currently have 500 gallons of oil 1 um, and 1,000 gallons of oil 2, and we can also uh, buy an additional 1,500 gallons of oil 1. Um, and this is where the piecewise linear function comes into play. So. Um, we have 500, for, for the first uh, 500 gallons, it's 25 cents per gallon. The next 500 gallons after that is 20 cents per gallon. Then the next 500 gallons, it's 15 cents per gallon. Um, and that is down here, each piecewise um, equation. So you can see that after um, this first break point, we need to add it to the 500 times 25 cents. And then, and we are adding, um, now it's 20 cents per uh, gallon and then right here the 7500 comes from if we were to do uh, plug a thousand into this and we are adding 15 cents times the amount that we purchase um, so these are our decision variables oh and we are maximizing uh, the profits in this problem so our two decision variables right now are uh, the amount of additional oil one purchased and X I J sub I can't speak subscript I J um, is the amount of oil I use to produce gas J, um, and right here it gives our uh, total revenue minus the cost um, equation, and actually this is more simplified down here. So our Z equation is going to be um, the cost times um, if we did, if we use um, oil I to produce gas J, um, and then we are sub subtracting our piecewise equation, um, but we're going to need to change that since it's not a linear program right now. Um, here's a couple constraints. I'm not going to go through those right now because then I'll end up going through them twice when I actually do them in the program. So we'll come back to the constraints. But um, I'm going to explain how this piecewise equation is going to go, um, is going to transform into a linear program. So right here it says, um, because CX, C of X is a piecewise linear function, the objective function therefore is not a linear function of X, and this optimization will not be an LP. Um, but what we can do is we can add two more decision variables and transform it into an IP using our breakpoint values that we already know. So, um, of course, you can't have a function of something um, of just like X in a linear program objective function. So what we do is we um, create this Z variable and this Y variable. So there's going to be um, Z subscript I and there's going to be um, Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, then there's going to be Y1, Y2, Y3, and both of those need to add up to 1. Um, and then these equations are going to determine which Z's will be used. So um, let's say Y1 is given the value of 1, because Y1 is going to be a binary variable. Um, so if Y1 gets the value of 1, that means um, Z1 will be allowed to be positive and Z2 will allow to be positive. And the reason is that since all the Y's add up to 1, none of these other Y's can be 1, and therefore only these equations, um, these equations will show that only these two Z's can be positive. Um, and then what that means, um, these Z1 plus Z2 would then have to add up to 1. Um, so those fractions, um, if you go over to this equation, those fractions ensure um, that 
the fractions multiplied times the breakpoints will add up to the amount additional amount we purchase. Um, it's a little difficult to understand, so um, I'm going to come over here and pull up this page. If you'd like to pause this, it gives a really good description of everything, and it shows um, an example of if, if x were to equal 800. Um, but basically, these equations are ensuring um, that the right cost is included in our maximization problem. Um, and z also is going to be, z is just going to be, um, I'm pretty sure it's just a continuous variable. Um, so let's just go ahead and start this. I, oh, I have that pulled up. So I'm probably going to have to split this video into two parts already, but um, I'm not going to write type all this out, like all of our equations, but what you want to do for a piecewise linear function, um, we have to have our equation basically an array of all the possible va values for um, the amount of oil one purchased. Um, so what I did is I made three different while loops. I started off with a count variable, an empty array, and I said... Um, while count is less than or equal to 500, um, our array is going to have um, integer values of the 25 cents times count. Um, so it's going to have every possible value of our piecewise function from 0 to 500. And then next thing you do is you make another loop. Um, and I just started over with another count variable and said 501. So um, while count is less than or equal to a thousand which is our next uh, breakpoint then we are going to use this equation and add it to our array you use the same array don't make a new array of uh, value array um, don't make a new array um, and then the next breakpoint um, or the next count is going to be a thousand and one and um, this needs to be less than or equal to fifteen hundred which is our max overall amount that we can uh, purchase of our oil one um, and then so just make sure you put all these equations in um, and basically at the end you're gonna have an array of every possible integer value um, from 0 to 1500 um, of the cost for um, purchasing additional oil one sorry y'all this is a very long problem um, so next what we need to do is define our sets um, so we have gas 1 and 2, oil 1 and 2, um, we have our Z set, and I did 1, 2, 3, 4, Y set, 1, 2, 3. So the, that's just the Z and the Y um, values. That's not our variables, those are just our subscripts that we're going to use. Um, usually I do like something like maybe O1 or O2, but you don't need to do that because none of our parameters overlap, so... There's going to be no confusion between that, and you can just use the same. You can use 1 and 2 for both of this. And we don't have any parameters in this problem. Um, so then the next thing we do is create our problem variable. And I'm going to stop this video soon and make a second part. So we do LP problem. Prob equals LP problem. Um, and let's call this piecewise. And we are maximizing LP maximize. We are maximizing our profits. Um, um, next, we are going to set our decision variables. So the first one I'm going to call that amount underscore vars. And we say LP variable dot D I C T S. And amount is what I'm going to name it. And this is LP integer. Because again, this is an integer program. Um, our next variable is our um, gas variable. I just called it gas, but it's our um, x subscript ij variable. So I'm just going to call this oil gas. Amount of oil I used to produce gas j. Um, so this has two subscripts, so we need to use our for loops. We need to do bracket i com parentheses i comma j for i in oil, and then for j in gas, and make sure they line up, comma return 
0 comma none LP integer and um, you're gonna get an error if you don't include an upper bound if you do specify um, what type of var variable it is so make sure you have that otherwise it's gonna say that an upper bound can't be a string um, so then next we have our Z variable LP variable I'm gonna call this Z set like our um, the set we already made and we refer to Z set up here and this does not have an upper bound but the lower bound is zero and then finally our last variable is gonna be Y underscore bears LP variable dot D I C T S Y set and we refer to Y set that we created and this is binary it can only have the values of 0 or 1 LP binary let's see Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, but go and check out the second part of this to um, see the solution to the problem.